Hi, I'm Jonathan Broughton from polesandblinds.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to fit a roller blind. Today I'm going to be fitting this blackout roller blind in this recess window. It comes with a sidewinder control chain and the sidewinder mechanism on the end here. And also, the standard bracket which is supplied is the 48mm bracket. However, I'm going to be using the 80mm bracket to bring the blind forward of the air vents. So today we're going to be fitting the roller blind within this window here. It does have a very shallow recess and we do have an obstacle which is the air vent. Now we need to bring the roller blind forward of the air vent, hence us using this sort of extra large uh, bracket here. This is the 80mm version. There are three different sizes which are available. The 48 which is standard with the blind, the 65 and the 80mm. So what I'm going to do is place this in the corner of the window here and mark out where I would like the bracket to be located or fitted. So I'm going to side fit this bracket and simply mark out and use this guideline of the top of the window frame to make sure the bracket is level. So I'm just going to simply mark the holes that I want to gravel and then drill. So this particular bracket that has the cutout which has the tab protruding out, is fitted into the sidewinder mechanism. And the other end, which has this sort of cross pattern on it, and the roller pin device, which slots in here when fitting the blind, goes on the other. And in this instance, I've drilled the holes that I'd rattled and found there's wood about half an inch behind the plasterboard. So I'm going to be using a two inch wood screw, which makes the job a lot easier because I don't have to plug this and I get a really good fixing. So I'm going to bradle the pencil marks that I've made on the wall just to make it nice and easy for the drill bits to locate. So I'm going to use a masonry drill bit initially. Use my dust box here to collect any dust. And again, I can feel that there's wood behind the plasterboard so we should be able to use a wood screw. Once again I'm going to use the two inch wood screw and locate that into the hole that I've already drilled. Like so. Given a good solid fixing there. Let's locate the bottom hole here. Tight. There we go, good solid fixing. So as I mentioned earlier, the tab on the right bracket here locates into this star-shaped um, slot on the end. So what we do, we locate this right-hand end first, which I'm going to do so now. So that simply slots in there, now that's secure. Now I can put the pivot point in the left hand end. So now I've located the right hand end. I'm gonna put this small pivot into the hole on the end of the roller tube, which then clips into the small tab arrangement on this left hand bracket. So I would show you the hole on the end, but the right hand end is fastened securely on the right hand bracket. So this goes in here and then it simply slides into the tabs and it's then secure. Now I've installed the roller blind, you might have been wondering what this is up here. This is actually a bracket to the speedy curtain pole range and as we're in a dormer window, the pole spans from right to the left hand side without any finials and in this case we'll be rehanging a pair of eyelet curtains over the top and with the blind having the functionality of blocking out the light in the evening. Yeah. 
So this small plastic device is in fact a child safety device which comes with every single roller blind, made to measure roller blind that is, that we sell at polesandblinds.com. Now it simply clips onto the sidewinder chain, so if we pull that in there, it snaps shut, and this is then securely fastened to the wall beneath the roller blind mechanism, keeping the chain nice and taut so child's hands or necks even can't get caught behind this uh, mechanism. So now I've fitted this blackout roller blind into this recess window, I'm just going to test the sidewinder mechanism by simply pulling on the back chain, a nice smooth rolling action, lowering the blind down to the desired position which is just above the windowsill. So this is a blackout roller blind, although there may be some light seepage around the edges, it actually stops the transmission of light coming through the fabric. So in other instances, if it wasn't a blackout blind, this would be illuminating right now uh, with the daylight hitting the fabric. So it's great for putting behind curtains um, and making for a great night's sleep. So we've dimmed the lights within the room and we've closed the blinds at the other end of the room. So now we're now just going to check um, how well this functions. It's around about one o'clock in the afternoon, so quite a bit of light. So we're just going to lower the blind right down until it touches the top of the windowsill. There we go. So it's nicely blocked out the light. Obviously there is going to be a bit of light seepage around the edges and over the top, but there is no light transmission through the roller blind blackout fabric. So we've turned the lights back on in the room, so you can see how the roller blind raises up. So I'm going to pull the front part of the roller blind chain here. Nice smooth rolling action. You can in fact stop this blind wherever you want because it does have a friction mechanism in the sidewinder unit. But I'm going to pull this right up to the top to let all the light back into the room. And that is how to fit a roller blind in a recess window. I've finished fitting the blackout roller blind and reinstalled the eyelet curtains. The eyelet curtains are hanging off a 28mm speedy curtain pole and they are attached to the wall by the speedy extendable bracket. They are ideal for this situation as you can extend the pole forward of this instance, the roller blind, so the curtains function perfectly. So finally I'm just going to test the roller blind behind the curtain to see what the overall look looks like. Now I've rolled the blind down, I'm just going to see how the curtains work with the blind sitting behind it. So let's just pull these across a little. As you can see that's not hitting the blind at all. In fact I'll just roll this back up so you can see that the rolling action there doesn't interfere with the curtain at all. Thanks for watching and once again all these products that I've fitted today are available at polesandblinds.com.